Bosco, my final question for you is, as a storyteller expert yourself, can you tell us more how storytelling evolved uh, during answering behavioral questions for job seekers whenever they are going to an interview? How should they can be prepared for those questions? Right. So I'm going to give you a different answer from the, from the star technique because most people, when, you know, everyone, everyone in the recruiting world will say, okay, situation, task, action, and results, right? right? I'm going to talk about mindset. Okay, because here's the most important thing that we need to know moving forward. Soft skills are going to become one of the biggest skill sets in the future workforce. How we work with people, how we design and interact, you know, our communications, and more importantly, our thought process. So if I'm, you know, we all know, like, you know, tell the situation, talk about the task and the action and the results and the outcome. Great. But what is the mindset for taking that action? What is the mindset for processing the situation as a problem? What are the decision-making skills and what mindset were you in uh, when you went through this particular moment in time? And that is the most important thing moving forward is how do you design your thoughts? How do you think about your solutions? You know, where do you come from uh, from a place of design thinking. So design thinking is the most important skill set that's emerging and it's evolving and how you tell your story really has to reflect on that. So if I was someone that was, you know, answering a behavioral question, I would focus on, you know, the situation and the task because that's what they want to know. But I would also t- take people on a journey and show them how you processed the levels of thinking. You know, how did you evaluate the situation? How did you feel, you know, when the problem arised? you know, what type of anxiety or vulnerability did you feel? And how did you process that? How did you communicate with the people that you work with? And how did you get people to work with you to fix the problem? And how did it make you feel after the outcome took place? So I think the most common constant uh, pillar that is now really important uh, for this star technique mm-hmm. is mindset. Uh, and some people might call it thought processes. Some might people might call it design thinking as well. So maybe it's D star, which is design thinking and, and you know, the, the four elements of star. And lately I also hearing a lot in terms of impo- emotional intelligence, you know? Yeah. That, that's emotional. part of the thinking process, right? So emotional intelligence is part of the soft skills and por- emotional intelligence is part of the evaluation skills. Emotional intelligence is, gathering insight on how you feel emotionally and the intelligence to then be aware and be awakened because a lot of people in business and in the employment workforce make decisions rationally or irrationally and most of the time the decisions are made emotionally and it's not made for the benefit of the business or benefit of the of the people that work together you know here's a great example if you know right now some companies and some of my friends in the workforce have had to take a pay cut you know, and have had to cancel their Christmas parties. Now, emotionally, people are like, oh, you know, this really sucks. We don't have a Christmas party. We've worked really hard and we have to take a pay cut. But ask yourself, why are we taking this pay cut and why are we trying to save money on the Christmas party? Is it so that you have a job next year? Is it so we have a cash flow for the coming years? Is it so we may have a better Christmas party next year? You know, at the end of the day, if the people, you know, as a brand and everybody come together and they align their emotions and they communicate and go, listen, guys, as much as it sucks right now, we'll get through this. And the reason why we're taking the pay cut and the reason why we're cutting on cost is so that we can sustain our business long term. So you have a choice. Do you want to be in the unemployment line because you didn't get a Christmas party? Or do you want to have a Christmas party two years from now because you work for the company that thought ahead, you know? So that's where design thinking and emotional intelligence kicks in. I totally agree with you. Again, thank you for those great tips. And with that, Bosco, my interview series comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to answer the question. I hope my audience will benefit from that. And for the audience watching, listening, if you have any other tips, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you want to listen more future uh, interviews that I'm preparing. Reach to us through our social platforms and tune in next time for a great interview person I'm preparing for you. And Bosco, again, thank you and have a great afternoon. And hopefully we can meet when this pandemic is over. Thanks so much, my friend. Stay safe. You soon. Bye-bye.